Today we're going to cover using the Intune WinApp Util, which you're going to need sometimes when you want to build certain packages, especially ones that are, you know, nested with folders and things like that. And the example we're using today is Adobe Acrobat. So it's really simple. You'll just you'll double click on the executable and this window will pop up. And so what you're going to do is in here is you're going to put you need to wrap it in quotes if necessary what the source folder is. So you see here that's the source folder of where the installer is going to exit be. Then the setup file we're going to we're going to populate in here as well. Again, wrapped in quotes. Output folder. It already exists. We'll just let it delete it. So for most part, that's it. So you're going to see here, this is going to take a few minutes. We'll pause the video and we'll be right back once this is done. So you'll see once I completed, the window just kind of magically disappears. So the question is, that it actually do what it was supposed to, as I bring this into the screen, that we have this .intune win file, which is pretty big. And you'll just take that and you'll go into Win32 and deploy it auto-magically and it'll be no big deal. 